Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. Good morning. So we are going to be checking out a trailer. We're going to be looking at Godzilla Minus One, the official trailer. So we did get like, I don't know, a 20 second teaser like a couple weeks ago. And I'm not the most known about like Godzilla lore, but I am always interested in a Godzilla movie because obviously a Godzilla movie is a Godzilla movie. But the thing is that the ones I have seen, the American ones, are just admittedly not that good. So, this one, from what I saw out of that teaser, and from how it's being promoted and hyped, it just looks like it might be an actually good Godzilla movie. It might be an actual Godzilla movie that we want. You know, something that's terrifying, something that, you know, looks intense, something that actually focuses on the monster and a story that we actually give a shit about. Yeah, we're gonna be looking at Godzilla minus one official trailer. Oh my god, we're getting the appropriate audience trailer. Jesus. <laughs> So this does come out December 1st in North America. Oh my god. Oh, it looks fun already. Okay, so I actually do have some thoughts, which I'll get into afterward. From zero to minus, what does that mean? Why did you get to this place? The government has been in this country. Who is this? This is Okay, so it doesn't look like that Godzilla movie that is going to give me what I want out of Godzilla movie fully. I mean, it, I, I, okay, so here's what I'll say. IMAX, let's go. So here's what I will say about the movie. Is that it looks like, at least firsthand, it looks like a, your standard Godzilla movie, you know? But getting into like the story, like where 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 is it? Let me go to it real quick. This right here. Post war Japan has lost everything. So I don't know again like the lore of Godzilla or anything, but seeing that this like has like a story, cause so here's what I was what I was thinking like throughout the trailer is like in the second half I was like it doesn't really seem like as much of a Godzilla movie as I was hoping. Towards the second half it seems more of like an actual dramatic piece with like centering around like the characters which I'm not gonna lie I, I'm just not into that for a Godzilla movie I want to see Godzilla right but I also want like a, a crucial story that's actually gonna keep me engaged if it is not about Godzilla and this is you know seeing this post-war Japan had lost everything seeing that this is a Japanese Godzilla film I think that the storytelling could be could be pretty well um what I will say is that at the beginning of the trailer Seeing, like, Godzilla and everything, I mean, initially just seeing that, seeing Godzilla break break down buildings and kill people, and, like, you know, just storming around, like, the streets and everything, yeah, that's fun, it's Godzilla. But as I kind of started to see, get more into the trailer, I started noticing, like, some practical, like, effects, or maybe not practical effects, but just, like, effects in general, that just didn't look the best. Uh, but I, I really don't know too much about... This story, I don't know too much about what to expect from the movie, but it does come out in North America on December 1st, so I think I'll check it out. But let me know what you guys thought about the trailer reaction down below, guys. Um, I will see you guys in just a couple days, because Studio Ghibli's upcoming film, Hayao Miyazaki's final film, The Bird and the Heron, is actually going to be getting its first trailer. Cannot wait to react to that. But yes, guys, I'll see you guys in that video. Let me know what you guys thought about this one down below, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.